the population of Brent is approximately 332,000, of which approximately two-thirds of the population of Brent are black and minority ethnic. Of those, 40% are Muslims, and those Muslims range from Southeast Asia, from Pakistan, Bangladesh, India, and Sri Lanka. And then, more recently, we have Muslims from Eastern Europe, we have Muslims from the Middle East, from Syria, from Iraq. Brent has a very large Indian community and many uh, have come from India but many have also come from East Africa, from Africa um, during the 70s and made a life here. Our worshipping community is drawn from largely from local people. We have an awful lot of people from a West Indian background and also from a West African background. A lot of people who come originally from Ireland. I think one of the great things about Brent is that it's such a diverse place um, and that's not just because of the people who come from across the world to live here, but the fact that they bring their faith with them too. I think we're very, very fortunate to have a temple such as the Neeson Temple. It offers a very strong sense of community, especially for, say, people who've come from abroad into a new country. It certainly offers a base where they can come, um, feel at home and seek help if they need to from people who understand their culture or their background. My parents live in India. When they come here, they look forward to coming to the temple. The Central Mosque of Brent was founded in 1973. It was the idea of a group of like-minded Pakistani individuals who felt that they had come to the UK, this was now their home, and they wanted a basic religious education for their children. The mosque was the center of social discussions, for political discussions, so it was the hub of society. And although for the first 20 years or so, we have been mainly using this mosque as a religious focus where we come and pray, we have our Eid festivals, we have our religious festivals. What we're now doing was opening up the mosque, not only to the Muslim community, but to the community at large. St Mary's Church is really important to the community. I think partly because this is one of the oldest churches in Greater London. We have some 13th century uh, stonework. We also have a lot of Victorian stonework because the church was expanded quite significantly in the middle of the 19th century. So the building is a bit of a mixture. St Mary's has been a place of pilgrimage for, for many, many years. Pilgrimage was a really big part of life in medieval England. Um, England had a, had a number of um, important sites of pilgrimage. Perhaps the most famous ones were Canterbury and Walsingham. So if you didn't have a great deal of money uh, or time, uh, another option was to make the slightly shorter pilgrimage to Our Lady of Wilsdon. The BAPS Swaminarayan Temple in Neesden was inaugurated by His Holiness Pramukh Swami Maharaj in August of 1995. When the mandir was being built, it required a lot of manpower. Devotees and volunteers willingly gave up their time to raise funds. But aside of that, all the marble carvings, which were then required to be hand polished, you know, probably every single devotee in this temple, if they were around at the time, will be able to point out a specific carving in the mandir upstairs and say, I polished that bit or I polished that bit. And I think because of that, they've got an ownership. Um, you know, they, they do feel that this is my mandir and this is my home. In Hinduism, prayer and celebration are linked. They go hand in hand. We've been given this life for a reason. And so this life should be used wisely. Celebrating life is one part of it. 
You celebrate various different rites of passage, as it were, as people grow. It's an opportunity for people to come together and to recognise that we are not independent units. We are all one body, we believe. So your community, your friends and your family have a important role in Islam and on those memorable days which are very important, the day that you get married on religious festivals, um, you want to be surrounded by those that you love, those that you care for, those that you are related to and those that you communicate and live with. At the BAPS Nason Temple, we are actively involved in trying to integrate with the other faith communities and we take part in interfaith events um, by attending them and also by inviting different faith groups to the, to the mandir. I think it's, it's an incredible privilege to have the Nishtan Temple actually in my parish and we have a, a good relationship with them. We recently actually had a visit to the Jewish cemetery, which was a really interesting experience. The fact that the London Borough of Brent is the second most culturally diverse borough, having multiple faiths, multiple religions, and those that have none, I think makes Brent an extremely rich borough to live in, rich in the sense of community, rich in the sense of religion, rich in the sense of freedom, rich in the sense of you can do within reason whatever you please and it's acceptable. And that is the true sign of freedom.